stories from the underbelly of far away land where not every story has a happily ever after. Tonight, scandal, cr what is happening? crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Emma Whitaker. And I'm Paige Shahadat. Our first story. Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing after being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs of deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter Ivy with more. I am in the faraway jail with criminal Big Bad Wolf. Mr Wolf, you have been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? If you want me, me to be honest with you, I think that they are all wrong. They are completely gullible. Gullible for believing everything they see on television. Who even watches the news anyway? Not me. Mr Wolf, you have been caught impersonating both a grandmother and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf, really? Well, of course it's me because my name is Mr Wolf, but it's hay fever season, so I can blame myself. But those four little pork chops all made it up. I didn't eat anyone. I'm pretty sure it's the three little pigs, Mr Wolf. Whatever they are, I don't really care. What do you have to say to the good people in the faraway lands who think of nothing more than you than a, just a dangerous criminal? Really? <laughs> now, for, now for news of escaped kidnapped heroes, Hansel and Gretel. Their story captured the hearts of nation and caused a media frenzy last year. They have spoken out for the first time about their ordeal in their new book, Blackbirds, A Our Bread Comes, The Hansel and Gretel Story. Our reporter Armley was at the book's release in the deep, dark forest, the scene of the terrible tale. Hello, my name is Armley, and today I am here with Hansel and Gretel. I have a couple questions for you. Um, I was just wondering, because you had so much money from all the jewels that you had from the witch's house. What's your plan for using them? What are you going to use the money for? Investments or what are you going to use it for? Well, we have decided to invest in a house with a pool and we're also going to get 100 dogs. We're also going to split the money so we can have separate lives and spend the money separately. Wise thinking. Um, this is a question for you, Hansel. So, because you used to be quite um, overweight, I see you've lost that weight. Um, what inspired you? What told you you needed to do it? I, I've always been on the larger side, but there was this one person who would always walk past the house and he was so muscular, I wanted to be just like him. So I decided to eat more vegetables and to um, go to the gym and for a run. What different habits did you notice in him? Well, with him being thinner, I've noticed that he's a lot more happier. Because when he was overweight, he was very sad and he moped around a lot. Another question is, where's your family now? Where's your mum and your dad? Where are they today? Our dad left us when we were very young and we've never met our mother. And our stepmother was very mean to us. So we fled into the woods and we thought that we would have a better life, but... Now we're known as Hansel and Gretel, the kids who like sugar. And what about, what's your take on that? Um, well. Um, so for both of you, what values have you learnt from this whole experience? Everything that you've done, what have you learnt from it? 
I've learnt to care for your siblings and be kind to everyone. Don't go into strangers' houses. Don't leave breadcrumbs out. That's wise advice. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you so much for your time today. Nice to see you. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of a celebrity couple, Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their albums of duets, sources are saying that Happily Ever After might not last much longer. Thanks, Emma. I'm here. <laughs> um, okay. I'm here in the beautiful mansion. Beauty and the Beast, where I'm going to be talking to Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> so, the perfect love story. Well, I'm so happy that I met Beast. And he's not all Beast. He's also caring for me. I'm so happy I met you too, Belle. You're not just beauty, you're kindness. Since your latest... Not the first word. What's it like living with someone who's so different to you? Beast. Well, we do get some weird faces while we're walking on the street from other people because we are quite different. You're beauty and I'm a beast. So, what's since your latest music album has crashed and your fashion label has gone right down, what is your plan for the future? Well, we're thinking of moving to Canada and to start a professional ballroom dancing career. Would, would you like to show us some? Sure. Take it away. Very nice. Thank you for your time today, Beauty and Beast. Now back to you in the studio. Thanks, Poppy. Now it's time for the faraway land weather update with Rosa, who will have the fairest weather of them all this week. Well, it will be a mix of fair and foul for the faraway kingdom this week. In the north, there will be gumdrops, lollipops and rainbows for everybody. Then the sun will shine and birds will sing, sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white overnight on Wednesday. Wrap up warm if you're living in a house made of sticks, straw or gingerbread because it will be freezing. Finally, trolls living under bridges in the west might want to find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's a happy ending to the working week for most of us. Back to the news desk. That's all for tonight. Although we've just had a word that the big bad wolf has escaped jail since our interview. He is hungry, angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe from the whole team at Once Upon a Crime. Good, Good night. night.